I'm 17 and a half. I have a dog, so I like to play with him. I also do workouts twice a week. Uh, I work almost every day. Next year, I had my final year of school. I would say that I live like a regular teenager. This is my TikTok account. On a daily basis, try to like upload. This is one. It has 111,000 views. Yeah, that's me when I was a little. Before yeah. the accident, I had blue eyes. I was gonna say you have really pretty colored eyes. What color are your eyes now? Kind of like way greenish. Way greenish. Yeah. Yeah. This is Ravid Sulam. She's pretty much your average teen. But when she was just two and a half years old, a terrifying freak accident drastically changed her life. During a family barbecue, her father was holding her in front of the grill when it exploded. I have been burnt in 95% of my body. Almost the whole of my body was burnt. When I was sent to the clinic at Chiba, they did like everything they could so I would stay alive. They give skin grafts and they also took parts of skin in my body and tried to transplant to other places on my body. I don't really remember the pain as much as the people that took care of me. 14 years later, Ravid is still in contact with the very medical staff that saved her life. I see Dr. Hayak um, almost every three weeks. Ever since I was little when I got hurt, he tried to save my life and he did it. It's like the bright side of the story. Nobody wants to treat burns. It's exhausting, it's complicated, hard and horrible work, but someone has to do it. Me personally, I think I have a lot of satisfaction out of saving lives, seeing them afterwards, rehabilitating. This is Professor Joseph Haik. He's the director of the Burn Center at the Sheba Medical Center in central Israel. And for the last 28 years, he's been treating patients, including Ravid. But this isn't just any old department. The Sheba Burn Unit was created back in 1973 during the Yom Kippur War in an effort to treat war victims. And today, it's recognized as Israel's national burn unit. We have 10 patients now at this moment in the unit, we are allowed to have only eight. That's the human resources we're dealing with. We have six kids hospitalized with very severe injuries. The burn center today is crucial for Israel because on time of routine, it's full. And I'm not talking about times of war or terror, which the number of injuries is four times fold. I treated victims and I treated also terrorists, one next to another. They are humans, I don't care. Usually when we check burn patients, they don't have immune system. So we need to defend them from us because we move in between patients and we can transfer all kinds of bugs between them. The wounds are huge wounds because it's all the body sometimes. When we change dressings, it's painful. So we're sedating everyone every day. So they will be asleep and they won't be experiencing pain. If you had a small burn from a cigarette or from a, an oven, you know how much it hurts. Imagine all your body. This is where Sheba's skin bank comes into the picture. Just steps away from the burn clinic is this research lab, where doctors dedicate themselves to growing skin for patients who are so badly burned that they almost have no skin left. Dr. Marina Ben Shoshan takes skin cells that have been harvested from patients to grow into skin grafts that are used to cover their wounds. We can produce tens of meters, maybe even hundreds of square meters. We grow the patient's skins for about two weeks. We do it in cell culture dishes. How many different patients' skin cells are you working on right now? Right now we have three patients. All of them are severely burned, more than 70%. We have one patient that we are treating him for a year and we produced over 700 grafts for him. It's Sheba's groundbreaking technology that's allowed for its doctors to save the lives of thousands of patients on the brink of death. And now, the hospital's on a mission to open up a burn clinic specifically for children. We are still fighting for a pediatric national center here at Sheba for burns. The kids are 50% of overall burn injuries in Israel. Today, they still don't have a 
real place to stay. We admit around 150 kids a year now. We used to admit 60. Like me, there's a lot of kids and people that were burnt. And it's really important to take care of them as they took care of me so they can live like a normal life like me. It's not like an ordinary injury. It's something that stays with you for your whole life. People can see it and can get scared of it sometimes. I think that I'm a positive person. I'm thankful for not only the doctors, also the nurses and everyone that was around. They have become like a family. Mm -hmm.